Hello, we're here today at Royal Ashdown Forest Golf Club in East Sussex on the West Course to look at the Skechers Go Golf Shoe Range for 2017. Now Skechers may be a relatively new name for some of you when it comes to golf shoes, but they are the number two footwear brand in the US. They've been in the running and lifestyle shoe business for some time and their products have always been technology driven and a lot of that has translated over into the golf collection as well. Brand ambassadors like Colin Montgomery and particularly Matt Kuchar have had a real hand in helping to design the shoes as well. Now one of Skechers key promises is out of the box comfort. They promise that the pair of shoes you buy will be as comfortable when you walk out onto the first tee first time as when you've been wearing them for several months. I've been trying out two pairs of Skechers Go Golf shoes. Now both shoes that I've been wearing have proved extremely comfortable right from the word go. Um, in particular the Drive 2 which I have on at the moment which also have some crossover with general street wear so you can wear these shoes just as comfortably off the course as you can on it. Now one of the big concerns with shoes like that is do they give you enough traction and grip out on the golf course? Well Ashdown West has a number of greens and tees with steep banks around them and I can actually say they've almost had even more traction than spiked shoes which surprised me a lot. Uh, I would have expected maybe a little bit of slippage but absolutely none of that which is quite reassuring. So let's take a closer look at uh, the shoes I've been wearing and some of the other shoes in Skechers Go Golf 2017 collection. Uh, testing them out on the course a little bit more and finding out exactly what gives them such high levels of comfort. Okay, let's start with the uh, Go Golf Pro 2 shoe, which I was wearing this morning in the LX version. That has a kind of suede uh, nubuck effect finish. This is the shoe that's worn by uh, Matt Kuchar out on tour. As you can see here, official footwear of Matt Kuchar. This is the headline shoe in the Skechers Go Golf range and they're most advanced in terms of technology. It features 5 gen cushioning, which is a responsive foam that provides both protection and comfort. To keep the water out, it has Skechers H2 Go waterproof shield. Um, you can see that it's a uh, cleated shoe, so it has nine cleats here, which combine with a dynamic traction plate to offer maximum grip in all sorts of conditions out on the course. The second shoe I've been testing out today here at Royal Ashdown Forest is the Go Golf Drive 2. I've been testing the LX model, which has this brown uh, chocolate colour leather upper. These shoes have um, a durable uh, rubber sole with a durable traction plate, and they have a lot of nubs here, which actually give you a lot more um, grip and stability on slippery surfaces than you might expect. The third shoe we're just going to take a look at here that's a key product in the Skechers Go Golf 2017 range is the Elite 2. Now if you look at this shoe up against the Pro 2, it's the same upper. It's the same shoe except the sole is different. The Elite 2 has a comfort traction spikeless sole uh, as opposed to the cleats or spikes on the Pro 2. The fourth shoe we're going to take a look at here in the Skechers Go Golf 2017 range is also the newest. It's called the Focus and it has this athletic sleek profile. It has a full contact bottom so the whole of the sole which is cleated is in contact with the ground the whole of the time for maximum stability. It has a dynamic upper fit which helps to secure the foot firmly within the shoe and it also retains Skechers uh, renowned H2 Go waterproof shield technology and the 5 gen cushioning that provides that extra comfort and cushioning as you walk and swing. That's a closer look at some of the key technologies in Skechers Go Golf 2017 golf shoe collection. Uh, the two pairs I've been wearing have both proved extremely comfortable straight out of the box. 
In particular, I really like the GoGolf Drive 2 shoe. Now that has something called GoGa Mat technology, which is this material in the footbed. This is about three quarters of a centimetre deep. And you can really feel that rebounding when you press it between your fingers. Your feet are benefiting from that technology with every step you take out on the golf course. The other shoe I've been wearing today, the GoGolf Pro 2 LX, doesn't have the GoGa Mat technology, but it does have five gen cushioning for extra comfort and stability. Those have proved really comfortable too. I've worn lots of different golf shoes over the years, many of which have proved comfortable, but not always comfortable straight out of the box, which is what I've really enjoyed most about these Skecher shoes today. It's the first time I've worn shoes from their Go Golf collection. So next time you're in the market for a pair of golf shoes, make sure you put Skecher's Go Golf 2017 collection on your potential buy list.